Weather made an Aberdeen home unlivable. Well, I can't afford to fix it, so I don't. Today, the city marked it for destruction. It's the city's position that the dwelling is beyond repair and will need to be demolished. Tonight, a woman wonders what's next as she watches her house and her hopes slip away. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, uh, I hate to just lose everything. Tough times for Sharon Stanley as she fights to keep her home. We first told you about Sharon's plight last month. Today, Commonwealth Force Keith Eldridge went along as she learned her fate from the city. Yeah, I'd say somebody's been in there. Like. As if it wasn't bad enough to have your house slip a few feet down the steep hill, Sharon Stanley found that looters have been in her home. Oh my God. I had a whole cabinet here. Sharon's 50-year-old collection of classic records, gone. Johnny Cash, Johnny Rivers, Tina Turner, the whole thing was full. Sharon had to abandon her house November 19th when her place started to slide. We went along as she searched for her two cats trapped inside. They were eventually found. But she found out recently that her insurance company, Farmers, had denied her claim. This home started sliding on a day when Aberdeen was hit with a ton of rain and the insurance company says, well, there is a heavy rain exclusion. Insurance company told me today Sharon's policy excluded coverage of damage caused by the ground moving. Everything was excluded because of the earth movement and it's just it's ridiculous. And we're here for the uh, informal hearing. Today regarding. Sharon got more bad news. Well, it's the city's position that the dwelling is beyond repair and will need to be demolished. That is, unless Sharon or her mortgage company want to try to repair it. Well, I can't afford to fix it, so I don't. Okay. With no insurance money, Sharon says she'll probably just have to walk away from it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, uh, I hate to just lose everything. The 75-year-old has just been diagnosed with skin cancer and recently forced to retire from driving a transit bus. Now she has to go through her belongings to see what she can salvage from a home she's lost. Taking this guy too. In Aberdeen, Keith Eldridge, Como 4 News.